Welcome everyone to episode two of PVTV, where we are talking all things solar. And Ross, today we answer a question from one of the lovely ladies who works here upstairs. Her name is Claire. And today she said to me, Sam, what is the best size solar system? And I thought that's a really good question because you and I, Ross, we size up thousands of solar yeah. systems a year. We're good at it. Um, However, for a lot of people out there, they don't know what the best size solar system is. So how would you answer this question? Um, I would say the best size solar system is always the best size suited for your usage. Mm -hmm. but so house dependent. House dependent. Yeah, obviously. Um, yep. But what is the most common solar system yeah. is, is the five or six kilowatt system that we put on probably 90% of homes. Yeah. Yeah. Five or six kilowatts. So the short answer is five or six kilowatts is the most common solar system at the moment. Yeah. Why would you say five or six kilowatts is the most common solar system that people get um, in, in this day and age? I would say it comes down to two reasons. Uh, the first one being five kilowatt inverters are produced by manufacturers in massive numbers. So, so the technology is getting cheaper. The technology is getting cheaper. It's become... Worldwide, actually, it's become a very common inverter. Yeah. The five kilowatt size. So the solar manufacturers are producing so many of them. It's just made the price really reasonable yeah. for a five kilowatt inverter. The other half of it is if in Australia the government pays uh, per kilowatt size of panels. So they chip in more money. Yeah. If so you get a bigger, you system. end up with a five kilowatt worth of solar panels. You yeah. Good rebate back. And then you also, on the other side, get a good, really good price because inverters are so well priced these days. Yeah. Perfect combination makes the five to six kilowatt size um, very, most, very popular. Very popular and the most common. And interesting thing to note is that five or 10 years ago, um, the further back you go, the smaller systems were. Yeah. So five years ago, it was very common. I remember installing two kilowatts. Like a lot yeah. of systems were two kilowatts. Two kilowatts. Back in my day. And very, very expensive. <laughs> and very expensive. Then. So that's now, with, oh, yes, I was saying. so back then we had a big feeding tariff, obviously, which helped with the cost of them being so expensive. Yeah. But it's just a case of, yeah, now the technology's just advanced really well and really quickly. And now we're at a stage where uh, instead of two kilowatt, we've got a five kilowatt inverter that's... Um, Really well priced. Yeah. And it's so, so the most common is a five or a six kilowatt roughly these days. And a really, I think another reason to note why this is so popular um, and so effective when it comes to electricity bills is that these five or six kilowatt systems mm. are, are producing enough electricity in most states of Australia at least, and depends where you are in the world. But most states of Australia, uh, a five or six kilowatt system now will produce enough power to cover your average family's, no, yep. sorry, the majority of your average family's bill. Yeah. So if your bill's like $1,500 and your family's about four or five people, it's reasonable to expect the solar to do about a, a thousand bucks. That. So about, you know, half to three quarters, yeah. depending yeah. when you use your power. So these are big systems. They're a lot uh, more affordable now that technology's advanced. Yeah. The government rebate chips in more the bigger the system is. And on top of that, these size systems are perfect for your average family of four or five. Yeah, exactly right. So that's why most people get five or six kilowatt systems. Yeah, very common system. Thank you for watching episode two of PVTV. If you get any questions about solar and batteries, leave them in the comments below and we'll answer them for you shortly. Take care.